Theater. Ballet Midwest has something for all ages this weekend. Their performance of Swan Lake takes to the stage along with something special for the kids too. Dancer BB Riley is here along with the Ballet Midwest artistic director Lacey Sandgren. Welcome to both of you. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. you being here. And so BB, what role do you have in Swan Lake? I have multiple roles in Swan Lake. I am in a dance called Pas de Trois, which is in Act One, and I am one of the Signets, which are the little swans. And I play the black swan as well. So you've got you've got costume changes involved. Yes. <laughs> Very fun. What is the story of Swan Lake? For those who've never, I mean, mm -hmm. I've heard of Swan Lake. I know the music. It's in my head right now. Yes. But what is the actual story? <laughs> so the story is of this maiden princess named Odette who is cursed by this evil creature named Rothbart to live her life as a swan, as Odette, queen of the swans. And then only at night can she be a maiden. And the only way for the curse to be broken is if someone swears their undying true love to her. So the story is sort of of this man who falls in love with her and pledges her love to her and how that um, might be broken. Oh, like a little fairy tale. I like it. I like it. Lacey, how big of a deal is it to bring this to the stage? And it seems like a, when I hear of Swan Lake, I, I feel like it's one of those things you hear about professionals doing and how complex this is to do. Yes, it is. I mean, it's one of the iconic ballets that we absolutely love putting on. It is. It takes a lot of work as a lot of dancers are involved and all of the formations, the musicality. I mean, the music is, again, truly just one of those things you get stuck in your head and you can listen to forever. It is stunning and beautiful. But um, yeah, the dancers taking the stage, they've been working so hard. We have um, over 24 swans on the stage. They're all working together in Act 2 and Act 4. And of course, the other scenes as well have tons of uh, gentlemen dancers with the ladies as well. And it's just going to be a truly beautiful weekend. How does this show the growth for the dancers? I mean, when you talk about the first day that they come in the door to getting this on stage. I'm not sure a lot of them understood the undertaking um, <laughs> that it was going to be this one, but it is. It um, it takes a lot of hard work and effort. We rehearse on the weekends there for many hours and putting forth the best performance that we can for the Topeka community, and it is going to be amazing. It is. It's one that professionals have quite uh, quite an undertaking too. So for our civic ballet company to take it on, and but it is. It's they're I doing a it. fantastic job. It looks like a professional company. How many years have you been dancing, BB? Um, I've been dancing since I was three years old, so this will be my 14th, going on 15th Goodness. year. And how challenging is this one for you? You love it? Oh, I love this ballet. It's such an iconic ballet for the dancers to get this opportunity to dance it. Um, I mean, this ballet is truly a feat for the dancers because a lot of the dancers, like me, are dancing in almost every single act, and specifically in the acts where we are all dressed up as swans in this big core, I think the hardest part is learning how to dance as one <laughs> unit, which is you have to be completely in sync with everyone else and just one dancer. Okay, it is but let's, so challenging. Let's add to the challenge because not only are you guys doing the Swan Lake on Saturday evening and Sunday afternoon, you're adding a children's show in here as well. So on Saturday afternoon, what is the special thing, Lacey, that you've arranged? Yes, so Saturday afternoon uh, we have, it's a great My First Ballet production. It follows um, some fairy tales in there. The show is going to be opened with Kyler Carpenter, uh, one of the nice. library jewels there. Um, he's going to open it. It's a fun opening there. The show is interactive for some of our younger audience members that might not be able to do a full Swan Lake yet. Um, and then afterwards, at the end, there's a big party out in the lobby with balloon artists, face painting, crafts, all kinds of fun things for the kids to really get to enjoy the theater, but in something that maybe is a little little less structured so they do get to interact with the dancers on and stage. that one's a fairy tale theme, so you're dancing what in that one? I'm dancing Ariel the Little Mermaid. Fun, so fun. Well, that show, by the way, folks, is only $10 for those tickets. So bring the kids, get involved in Once Upon a Ballet, Fairy Tales in the Forest, 1.30 on Saturday at TPAC, and then the Swan Lake performances will follow at 7.30 Saturday evening and 1.30 on Sunday afternoon. Those tickets, I believe, are $22 and $17, so not very expensive at all. You can find information at BalletMidwest.net and also get the tickets at the Topeka Performing Arts Center box office. That's where the shows and as well as the Fairy Tale show will be held. BV, Lacey, thank you both so very much. Thank so super you. fun. I love it. Well, our weekend warmth could be setting us up for a stormy night ahead. Jeremy Goodwin has the latest on when it moves in. Now.